425 show. Thank you for joining us today, everybody. We have the amazing Kim Peterson as our guest. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Oh my gosh. Thanks for having me. We're having a good time already. We are. We've been talking. We will catch you up. We've been here for a little bit already. We've talked Little League. We've talked all kinds of stuff. We're going to tune you into all kinds of things today. You know, I have been selling real estate in the 425 for, gosh, over 20 years now. And, you know, it's about the house, but really what makes it you love where you live is so much more. It's the people, the businesses, and the events. And so that's what this show is about. We, I love highlighting that because that's what makes a community and makes people love it. And it's, you know, if you're tuning in on the Facebook Live, I feel so official because the camera's that further. <laughs> you can see my notes. I feel like a little oh, yes. room person. <laughs> um, <I> <laughs> And you have great posture. I do. I know. I'm sitting, well, you know, Kim's here. She's a brand specialist, which includes styling. So I got to tell you, there was some angst getting ready oh this morning. Boy. Sitting up straight, but I'm feeling it. Right on. So uh, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for being here. You are a brand specialist. And, you know, in um, the social media posts, I said that you were a stylist. And then... It's like, but, you know, and at the time I was like, stylist isn't the right word, but that's the only one I have, so that's what I'm posting. And, you know, as I was reading through your things, you have brand specialist, which is so much better for what you do, right? Because I know you work with people on their outside appearance, whether it's hair, clothes, or what have you, but you're really about the inside out. It, absolutely, the inside so. out. And, you know, personal branding is all about packaging yourself yes. uniquely. So, you know, your wardrobe is the exterior packaging, but the inside is really your brand, right? Your brand right. identity, your yes. skills and your talents and your mindset, your vision and your values. So exactly. It's, it's the whole package. The whole thing. So we're going to talk about that today, but before we dive into that... We have to cover. You just got a puppy. I got a puppy. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Can I show you a picture? Yes. I feel oh my like goodness. I'm a proud mama. Oh, yeah. And I had no idea. This is a little bit embarrassing, maybe. No, it's all good. <laughs> they melt your heart. Look at him. Oh my God. Uh, we're going to post this online, but this is A, the cutest, fluffiest puppy, but he's four months old. He's four months old. He looks like he's as big as you. This well, dog is enormous. He is long when, <laughs> when I'm holding him, but he's 45 pounds. We just went to the vet yesterday. At four months. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah, well, kind of crazy. We'll have to have you back when we do an episode on dog parks and all the things oh, you yes. can do with your dogs. But I have to say, so this picture, you've posted a couple on Facebook, uh -huh. and you're all about, you know, oh, my goodness, you're not getting much sleep, and you're working with a puppy. By the way, you look amazing in all of those pictures. Oh, wow. You've got, like, the whole new mom going, but you do it with a lot more uh, style and swagger than everybody else does well, so good for you thank you you're living your brand i love it there you go <laughs> absolutely yeah so okay so let's talk about your business let's okay. talk about um uniquely savvy yeah absolutely that is the name of your business and that's mm -hmm. how people can find you right absolutely. uniquely savvy.com mm -hmm. okay perfect and we will have that in the show notes you can also go to nicolemangina.com at the end of the show and we'll have that all typed up people can link to your site all that good stuff awesome so how long have you been doing this Oh my gosh, I just walked into my 18th year. Oh 18 my goodness. 18 years. Really? Yeah. Yes, and I started 18 years ago with a realtor, my first client. Did you? I love it. Yeah, yeah. That's so fun. Absolutely. So I feel, you know, there's a kindred connection. There here. is, I know. <laughs> really, it's all about how we show up, right? Yes. Yeah. For sure. So you started with that. And tell me a little bit then about how you work with your clients today. Because you do the clothing, but you've got you've got all kinds of stuff going yeah, on. Absolutely. So, you know, what we were talking about is personal branding is right. really a proven marketing process that helps you um, increase your success with acceleration, helps increase your visibility, helps you uh, feel more confident. Um, and it's really a holistic total package approach, right? right? So what I do is I work with you holistically and I dress you, yes, yeah. as it relates to your lifestyle, your career, your aspirations, your personality, wardrobe style, and all of those things. But the most important and sustainable work is on the inside, right? right? So who are you? What are your skills and val values and talents and, and your mission and your vision? And, you know, what are you willing to get up out of bed and fight for? And do you look like who you say you are? Yes. Yeah. And I think that's so important. We've all seen those people that you know, maybe look amazing on the outside, but you can tell they're not feeling it, right? Their confidence isn't there. Sure. And it, at that point, it almost doesn't matter what you're wearing. It doesn't. They, they're they almost repelling people, right? Absolutely. And they don't even have to be cranky, but you can just tell they're not feeling it. And then conversely, you can also see people that um, they just own it, whatever it is, <laughs> yeah. whatever their style is. And sometimes I'm like, oh, that's really cool. And other times I'm thinking, 
huh, okay. That is right? uniquely you. <laughs> uniquely you, but you're, but you're you know, owning it, yeah. and I can so respect that. that that's the that's <laughs> the difference, right? Right. Because even if it doesn't look so great in terms of fit or, yeah. you know, it's not flattering best, but if that person is really owning it and they have that energetic energy and they're feeling confident, we see that, don't you? I mean, I'm sure yes, you can relate. Sure. You, you see it, and it makes a difference. Yes. So imagine if you could take that and just fine tune uh -huh. a little bit better, if that's what you want, to really reflect best fit practices, best color, and also your position, right? So right. you look more like the leader or the visionary or, yes, you know, emerging leader or what have you. Exactly. Or realtor extraordinaire. Exactly. <laughs> yes. It's all about the package. Yes, it is. <laughs> and you are the total package. Well, thank you. <laughs> Well, and we've had some great conversations, right? I remember I was going through a rebranding process, yes. and you came over and helped me, and yep. you're like, you need to cut your hair a little bit, you need to do this. So it was great. Um, and sometimes, that is hard to do for yourself sometimes, right? It is. It, you know, you can do some, but to have an outside opinion, mm -hmm. I think is really helpful. It is, and what I want to make sure is, is uh, true for your viewers and your um, audiences you know, before I ever even said, you know, you might consider cutting your hair or shaping it this way or wear this for your photo, it's, it, we started with what do you want to convey, yes, right? For so sure. it's, it's never a you need to. It's, it's really not the language that I take because right. it's what do you value? What are you trying to communicate? Who is your audience? Yes. And then from there, we educate you, and then we come up with solutions based on that. So that's why it's so impactful and empowering, and you feel so confident. Absolutely. Because it's a co-creation based on really what you value and what you're trying to accomplish. Exactly. Yes, for sure. Well, I would imagine, A, that helps you be more successful, right? Because yeah. people, you know, you're helping them bring out their best version of themselves right. versus Not your best me. version of somebody yeah. else. Um, but then it makes it easier for them to sustain that change, right? I've had some friends that also fellow realtors that I know have worked with you, mm -hmm. and the transformation was phenomenal, right? They right. went from, like, super amazing to, like, oh, my goodness. Yeah. But they've sustained that, right? It wasn't they went shopping with you one time, got some new clothes, they looked great for a while, and then right. kind of went right back to whatever it is they were doing before. They've sustained that, and it's just so fascinating right I've seen yeah. them grow their businesses yes. and it's great to watch people you know when you watch somebody walk down the hall and you're just like they are awesome and they know it yeah right and yeah. that's cool I love yeah. that like they're owning their unique genius yes. they're owning you know they love what they they're do. comfortable in their skin they're comfortable comfortable in their skin and like you said I mean really statistically yes. I mean some of these uh, realtors have increased their business 40 percent 50 percent for not just looking great, but right. it's the whole energy, it's the whole packaging, it's the way they stand, it's the way they communicate because they can go to listing presentations Yes, and articulate their value with much more confidence as well. Well, and that makes all the difference in the yeah. world, right? As an agent, you know, we know what make, what it takes to, let's say, list a house, right? We right. know if you do these things, you will get a better result than if you don't. Mm -hmm. And quite honestly, we're in a market, you can pretty much slap a sign up on your yard and probably sell your house. but. There is a difference between how much money do you get for your house. You can leave money on the table in today's market, for right? For sure. Mm -hmm. And, you know, how does that overall process go? Is it smooth and relaxing or is it super bumpy? And, you know, as an agent, to know it is one thing, but to basically sell your client on it or convince them, like, this is the right way to do it and you're going to get a different result this way versus another way, you've got to own it and right. believe it to your core in order to, you know, have somebody else believe it and believe in you and your process. So true. So. So true. Because, yeah. you know, people need to buy you before they buy or sell a home with you. They do. And it's just yes, so true. that is the reality of it. So. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. I'm loving this conversation. I'm loving it too. I know. All things Hi, fashion. everybody. Yes. <laughs> Join I know. our party. <laughs> <laughs> and you work with men. We've got Benny here. We do. Our... Benny. We love Benny. Thank you very much. And welcome back. She's uh, Kim's you. been here a few times in the in the history. I of know. I because yes. she's amazing. Yeah. So yes. Debbie and and Benny me. always has great fashion. I threw in Benny like he needed Kim's service. <laughs> 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 Benny and I match today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they they both we all got the green. I got a different kind yes. of green. Yes. We had that sense. We did. It's yeah. a green kind of day. Kind of like that. 
Yeah, it's like we just need Kermit the Frog, and then we're dialed Don't in. Even well, go there. hey, and I will tell you all shades of green. If you want to talk for men and for women, spring trends. Oh yeah, you know, army green. Okay, is on point, but so are these bold, rich, saturated greens as well. Great pastels uh -huh. and brights and all kinds of fun stuff. So we're all we're all on trend we're here today. We're super hip today. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> I love it. And so you do work with men. What percentage of your business is women versus men? You know what? It's pretty close to 50-50. Really? Absolutely. That's awesome. It really is. So I, I work with uh, men in, in brick and mortar, but I also uh -huh. rep a line called J. Hilburn Custom Menswear. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. So I'll work with them there and women and whole lifestyle, work to weekends. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And so the J. Hilburn, because you can go to their house and like fit them and everything, mm -hmm. right? I, I can. Or yes. their offices. Awesome. That yeah. is cool. I don't know. Do you, is it, is there a difference? My vision is like women going to the store is half the fun, right? Right. Um, <laughs> but then my other vision is that for men, eh, maybe it might not be half the fun. They just kind of want it handled. So you I don't know, know what's Am I true? right in that? I'm you're totally you're kind of, I know, it's a stereotype. So sorry. Yeah. No, but you know, it's true that men uh, usually want to just get it done, especially if they're hiring an outside consultant. They're uh -huh. wanting to learn. They want to get the education. They are very pragmatic about right. that. But guess what? What happens, going back to your point about sustainable and confident style, uh -huh. once they get that foundation of education down, then they're excited. Then they actually want to go shopping. Oh, that's you know? great. Yeah, they'll call me, okay, it's spring, you know, spring 2018, you know, let's create a plan and, uh -huh. and go shop. But they want to get it done at, at first. I sure. love it. Yeah. yeah. Now, women, we like to drag it out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as long as possible. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. So you work with your clients on one-on-one, -on -one, but you do some workshops as well, right? I do. You okay. know, again, taking a holistic approach to you, uh -huh. uh, Nicole, really there are a series of workshops that I offer uh, in 2018. One is on style, absolutely. Okay. Another is on uh, living your vision of success. Another is on personal branding and how do you... Uh, create the brand identity that you want authentically. How do you uh, create the brand experience? How do you uh, show up online and off? Um, oh, I love that. Yeah. And then another one really deals with, you know, finding and accessing your voice. So um, I have a workshop, yeah, coming up on May 19th. Yeah, that's my mommy brain for you. I'm oh. like, oh, let me check my, let me check my notes. May I 19th. Love it. May 19th. Okay. Living your vision of success is really about this. You know, you might have heard part of my story is completely opposite than it is today. You right. Know, I grew, grew up in poverty. Yes. Um, you know, really struggled with self-esteem and, and abandonment issues, you know, and truthfully, hashtag me too. I mean, it was really tricky being me. Yes. Um, and then I started my business homeless 18 years ago, coming oh out of goodness. a domestic violence marriage. So wow. I was a hot mess. <sighs> yeah. I mean, really crazy. That's I'm a amazing. completely different person. But the reason why I share this today is, is for this reason, is I created the life that I want to live. Yes. I, I then got to choose had a lot of therapy and the therapist said, Hey, you know, if you keep going down this road, you're going to keep attracting these things. So it was my time in my late twenties, early thirties mm -hmm. to create my life by design, which mean, which meant I had to get clear right. on what I valued. Yeah. What do I want in terms of my relationships? Who do I want to work with? Who do I want to surround myself with? What do I want to look like? What do I want my life to be in two years, five years, 10 years? And I literally created it, and that's what this workshop is about, is really helping you all uh, get clarity and confidence and, you know, have courage, reach deep for courage to create the life you want to live. I love that. I love yeah. that you did it for yourself. I love that you're helping other people do it. By the way, I didn't mention this at the beginning of the show, but you were voted one of 425 Magazine's Women to Watch thank this you. year. That's a big deal. That is a big deal. That's a huge honor. <laughs> I mean, thank you. <laughs> it is very humbling. Did you know that, Benny? <laughs> A little yeah. bit. Yeah, and it's okay, but when you look at that, uh -huh. that honor in contrast to what was, right? you can see that there had to be a lot of work to be done I in there, a reprogramming. And, and, yeah. you know, and that's the hope for anyone who might be struggling or who might be thinking that they... Um, you know, are stuck in their past or defined by their circumstances, they're not. So it was right. a real honor to be a 425 woman to watch. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. I'm Thank so happy you. for you. Yeah, we'll have all yeah. the links for this, by the way, to the workshop and everything on, if you go to Nicole Mangina forward slash podcast, we'll have all the links. 
Um, and you know what? It's funny. I'm looking at the Facebook Live thing. Oh, I'm like, where are we? I looking? know, right? <laughs> and and this is how you know we are over forty because there's people typing yes. things. I can't read what you wrote. Oh so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're not ignoring you. I know we're not ignoring you. Um, we love you. Thank you for typing yeah. in our notes. <laughs> Yeah, ask any questions, and we're happy to answer after. Yeah, well, yes, absolutely. Type your questions in. We will absolutely answer after, but know that that's why we're not answering right now, because we can't see. I sure can. <laughs> I can see you. Look at that beautiful smile Yay. and the laugh. Oh, that's all we you. need. There you go. <laughs> Well, and so these workshops, I mean, that's big. It's a big thing to do for yourself, right? But yeah. then to be able to create that container for other people to be able to do the same thing. I think that's beautiful. Yeah, and and I do want to say this. It's really a gracious, truth-telling opportunity to invest yes. in yourself. The, the workshops are only eight max. Oh, so the, great. Yeah. So, so total safe space. Total safe space. And one of the things that's unique and different in all of my workshops, but in particular this one, is... It's not enough just to say, this is what I want, and let's create a roadmap and a strategy. We actually look at the limiting beliefs that are there right now, yes. the obstacles right now, and we unpack them in real time uh -huh. as they come up or as people have them, because then they can see the clarity, and they go, okay, and now they have an action step for the block, yes. as well as how to get to where they want to go, and then we create a success toolbox for when uh, adversity hits in the year, because it always does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, right? I mean, I mean it's not like, oh, or... you fix it and you're done. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. So it's a real holistic approach to how to really get a handle on, on your life and reclaim it yes. and choose to be the victor and not a victim. That's amazing. I mean, that's yeah. something you actually, you have to have somebody else there for you to do that. I think it's almost impossible to do on your own because yeah. when we have our limiting beliefs, we just think that's how it is like we don't know there are limiting belief when there are so it's easy to see it in somebody else right but I think it's very difficult to see it in yourself because you convince yourself you're just telling it like it is I'm being honest or that's right. just my story right you need someone else to come by and like poke a little hole in that and go you know maybe that is how it is but it doesn't have to be that way or or what or, if it was this way yeah instead? exactly what if and you are by the way Nicole is a realtor extraordinaire but also oh. a coach and amazing educator Thank for you. people in your industry mm -hmm. so we're talking the same the same language yeah, I'm and, so into this yeah I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, tell me tell me yes. what you do <laughs> and here's what's really truthful for me is is getting after the truth right so right we can have a limiting belief but I say distill it down peel it back distill it distill it distill it down and get after the truth of it because right. then you can see truth versus the be limiting belief whether it's five years ten years you know 20 years and you can look at that and it is the truth that sets you free yes it's not always sure. sexy no, it's, and it's not, not really. always easy. Yeah, it <laughs> no. really is. But it's the thing when you go, okay, but that's not true about me. Because here's the deal is research indicates that we operate out of our belief system. Right. So then the question gets to be, what do I think about myself? What do I believe about myself? Yeah. And a lot of times it goes back to self-worth. For sure. Struggle with value and, and worthiness. And if you struggle with that up here, it dictates how you show up. In everyday life, in business, yes. what you wear, how you get dressed, how you laugh things off, how you how you handle your puppy, your new puppy right. going potty in the airport, you know? <laughs> it's oh like, gosh. no shame. We're just doing our thing, yep. right? Because I have value, I'm confident in who I am, and, you know, we just move on. Yes. We hit reset and we move on. For sure. sure. sets you free. That's, it does. That's what I'm landing on. I love it. <laughs> and perspective. You know, yeah, I have, um, oh we've got our two boys, and I remember when our oldest was first born, <clears throat> Um, one of my clients at the time was a pediatrician and she said, you know, at some point you're going to be on a flight and that your kid's going to lose his mind. Oh boy. <laughs> and we've been, certainly been there. Um, but she goes, you know what? It's two hours, hours out of somebody's life. Like really let's put this whole thing into perspective, yes. right? You know, so good. and let's just move on. So kind of the same with puppies, right? You know, yeah. sometimes they do things and you're like, huh, that was not awesome. But yeah, no. <laughs> it wasn't, but you know, what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> So let's chat a little bit about, um, and again, NicoleMangina.com forward slash podcast. We're going to have all of these links so you can find Kim, you can find her workshop, um, and just all kinds of awesome stuff. And then we'll go in and answer all your awesome comments that we can't see right now. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but you live in the 425, and by I the do. way, you are married to an amazing guy. I am. So. I am married. We just celebrated our fifth wedding anniversary. Oh, yay. My see, college happy sweetheart. Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh, we've known each other 26, 27 that. years. And oh. I'm 40, 
I'm 47, so oh, half my life now. for shouting that out. Good for you. It's because you look at me. I said you're brave for shouting that oh. out. Although you should, because you look amazing. Well, <laughs> I was I was plucking out my gray hairs oh. <laughs> before I was coming here today. That's fine. And, you know, I need to get mine colored. I'm doing hoping that this covers the yeah. <laughs> The things we have to think about in our late 40s, right? Yes, oh, more than in your 20s. Life changes. But okay, but so but so you are my happily husband. married. I am. My so guy, tell my me baby. where your favorite date night is. Where do you go in the 425 for date Gosh, night? Gosh, you know. Our favorite date night is actually something yummy. Mod Pizza. Shout oh, out to Mod yeah. Pizza. I'll just say that. She there was a 425 woman to watch. Yes, Allie. Mm -hmm. um, but we might just do Mod Pizza and then go to a movie. We love just hanging that way. We're not big, you know, happy hour drinker gals and guys, you know, uh -huh. so we'll just do something like that. Um, but I have a feeling it's going to be the doggy park. Probably. Yeah. We had our first experience on Sunday. So I think that life oh. as I knew it before, you know, we, we love downtown Kirkland just walking. Yes. Um, but I think it's going to be the doggy park. The doggy park. Yeah. So you know the Cross Kirkland Corridor Trail, right? Yeah. That is the best place to walk your dog because it's a little bit more um, contained than the boulevard downtown Kirkland. That's why I walk our dog. Mm -hmm. And it is social hour for her. She has right? like all her dogs she sees on a daily basis and they have their little greeting that they do. But there's a couple off-leash areas along that oh, park okay. where the uh, dogs, her kids. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> where the dogs can play. Uh -huh. um, and it's a little, you know, there might be two or three dogs there versus when you go to an off-leash park and there's like hundreds of dogs. Okay, so you feel like you have a little bit more control. Control, okay, right? Good. And we can kind of opt in or opt out. You know, sometimes she's really into it. Sometimes there's a dog maybe she's a little timid about. So anyway, oh, that's, if you're no, looking for something know. fun to do. Can I have you on speed dial? Totally. I need, I need doggy tips. All my doggy, doggy tips. tips. I think that's really my only one. You can still call me, but okay. I don't know. I <laughs> more tips. Awesome. <laughs> Very fun. So uh, cool. So what else? What else do you guys do on the weekend in the 425? You know, what? oh, my husband, he's a big disc golfer, so he'll get together with the guys and do that at Northwest University. Oh, Memphis. cool. Is that like yeah. the um, ultimate Frisbee golf? Kind of different. Kind of different. It's probably, it's, he's probably like cringing right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. He's like, the same. he's like, why did you sorry. say that? Really sorry. But it was imagine, me. Kim yeah, it was got hard. it right. I got it wrong. <laughs> Imagine, um, you know, golf. You're trying to get uh -huh. your golf ball in. So it's, um, there are baskets. Oh, yeah, I've seen And you those. have a Frisbee, okay. and you're trying to get that in. Okay. You know, so that's a big thing. But, you know, I just love, we just like to walk around and explore, honestly. I love it, yeah. Uh, and so with girlfriends, walks, coffee. Yes. Um, downtown Kirkland, I love, love the boulevard. I walk with my uh, my friend Susan and her little guy Pete. Oh, fun. Um, you know, we're I'm casual. I yeah. might look high maintenance, honestly. <laughs> But I am really actually laid back in my life, you know, and yeah. just kind of go to my favorite spots. You know, if I shop, you know, I'm shopping at, you know, the Bellevue Collection. I love Neiman Marcus. Oh, nice. Um, for something different. Yeah. They always have something novelty. They do. Yeah. Yeah. They're great for, um, like, if you have events, you need gown, like a, a gown. But, yeah. you know, like a nicer dress, cocktail dress, yeah. or a gown if you go to those kind of events. Right. Because um, then, you know, no one else is likely to be wearing it. I know. Yeah, I like yeah that. exactly. So that's unique a good place for that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yes. That's cool. So, and again, your website is uniquely savvy. Uniquely savvy. Okay. Uh -huh. Perfect. I love, I love it. it. She says. Yeah. I know. I've been on your site. Like I yeah. said, we work together. It's all good. Yes. yes. Girl, and your closet is amazing, by the way. Oh, yeah. Well, uh -huh. you know what? Because, so we live in an older house, which typically has not amazing closets. So we actually commandeered one of the bedrooms and turned it into a closet. That's why it's so big. <laughs> okay. Well, I like it. And it was all nice and neat and orderly, right? Oh, that's my husband. I, I may have cleaned up before. He came okay. Too. It doesn't always look like it. Right now, not so much. So the scarves funny. are kind of a spas. But oh my gosh. <laughs> Perfect. Well, we'll um, before we finish up here today, I want to do our little real estate update, which probably you can't see um, because A, you're on the radio or B, the camera's too far away. So again, this will be on the website. But imagine a chart with lots of numbers. And it's all about the best month to sell your home. Everybody wants to know, oh, you know, when is the best time of year to sell your house? Because the market has cycles, right? We're in the overarching cycle of an appreciating market. The inventory is low, prices are going up. But even in a 12-month cycle, there's another kind of rise and fall to the market. Most of the appreciation in any year happens actually in the first six months. Oh, wow. We front load the year, and then the second half of the year, things stay steady. They go up a little bit. Um, but it's really in that first six months that everything happens. And so there was Adam Data Solutions, A-T-T-O-M, 
I'm sure that stands for something. We'll get that on the website. Um, Data Solutions did some research across the whole country, and this definitely applies for us as well. And May and June are the two months where you get the most amount of money for your house. In fact, in May, you get 5.9% over the market. June, you get 5.8%. It drops down to 3.8% in July, which I think is interesting. And that's definitely been my experience uh, each year that this happens. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's one of those, do what's right for you and what's best for your timing. But if you are thinking, oh, in the next two, three months, I'm going to sell my house. You might want to actually do it a little bit sooner versus later. There, you might be able to maximize the market, get a little bit more for your house. So anyway, that will be on the website, Nicole Mangina forward slash podcast. Kim, thank you for being here today. Oh my gosh. Thank it's you. always fun to see <laughs> yeah, you. You are, again, total package. What can I say? Oh, fun, thank you. delightful, educational. Yeah, there you go. Love it. Likewise. So yeah. best of luck with your event. It's again, thank it's you. May 19th, right? May 19th, actually at Windermere Yarrow Bay. Oh. One to four. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So that's yeah. Kirkland. Super easy yep. to get to. They've got great parking. Yeah. That would be an awesome place to do it. And I think, I'm assuming May 19th, Saturday. Saturday, right? To Saturday, yes. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Kim. Thank Take you. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Kim.